Hello YouTube, so what we're going to be doing today is a relative compression test on this 1.6 HDI um, Fairly simple, but I'm going to run through how I do it I've actually got another video that I'll link below um, that you can watch um, Similar, it's a similar, well it's a really similar video apart from the fact that I've not shown actually how to set it up and what to disable so the first thing that I've done and um, which is easiest for me is just to unplug the fuel injectors to make sure it can't fire up and run and um, what we'll be doing is we'll be putting an amp clamp around that battery positive cable because there's no way that we're going to be able to reach the neggy cable in there so once we've done that uh, we can carry out a compression a relative compression test I'll show you what it looks like on the scope so the scope that I'm going to be using is the Mixig, which I've used in previous videos. This is the only scope that I, that I own. Uh, the Pico Automotive is really, really expensive. So this this one does the job for me. You know, it's it's a good, it's handy. It's it's not a pain in the ass to set up. Um, I'll also be using the Handtech CC650. So before carrying out any compression test, we need to know um, what to set and how to set it. So I've got it set up here. So the scale, well, the, what I'm going to be using is a 200 millivolt setting because on the Handtech CC650, that is the option you want to pick. So it's one millivolt equals one amp. Next thing that you're going to want to do it really depends on the person. I just like to use the one one second per division. It goes a lot slower, but you know it's it's a lot more manageable. And um, so if you crank it, it's going to take a lot longer to you know go onto the next screen because you can't really scroll back on these that easily. So that is the reason I'm using the one one second per division scale. Now, if you're wondering how I managed to get rid of this graph back here, is I lowered the intensity of the display. I don't really like this graph at the back um, when you're taking measurements. I prefer it to be a blank uh, a black screen. Gives you a much clearer um, display, and you can you know you can see the the waveform a lot better. So what we'll do is we'll get out. Um, we'll get our amp clamp set up. Uh, we're going to be using battery positive because we can't reach the, the negative cable. Um, so once we have that set up and our clamp is zeroed, uh, we will show you what the compression waveform looks like on this Peugeot 1.6 HDI van. So we've got the amp clamp set on one millivolt equals one amp. I'm actually going to turn that around. Now what you want to make sure is you zero your amp clamp, which you'll see on the screen. Just zero it out. And as you can see here, uh, we've got it set to 200 millivolts. And we've got a low pass filter on. So what we'll do is we'll crank it over. So we'll zoom out. So that's our that's our capture. Now I have managed to look at my files and I've found a a bad uh, relative compression. This was actually on an Audi S3. Um, cylinder one was low in compression. This isn't the the best capture that I've done, but this was in the days I wasn't really sure how to use this. But as you can see, if you look closely, so we'll just cut them out. So we've got a nice even spike. So one, two, three, missing. One, two, three, missing. One, two, three, 
and missing again. So that, that, that little missing bump there, that represented cylinder one. 